Hey everybody, this is Adam, and this repair I'm going to show you works for most remotes most of the time. There's not that many things inside a remote that can actually go that wrong, so it's not too hard to fix. First thing you want to do though is test the batteries, because if you have weak batteries, that's obviously going to be a problem. Make sure they're full batteries, pop them back in, and then hold up an iPhone or a camera or something to the end of the remote. You might have to turn down the lights to do this push the buttons now you should see a little flashing light if you don't see anything flashing in your camera screen then you know you got a problem with uh, the current there so you're gonna have to open it up now you can use a little plastic tool so you don't damage it so much there's gonna be clips all the way around holding it together and uh, there might be a screw inside in the battery compartment to make it easier sometimes they do that but usually you gotta do something like this and you're gonna make a few marks on the plastic but it's still better than a totally dead remote so just run your tools along and separate all the clips and it should pop open then there's just going to be the keypad and the circuit board so look at your circuit board really closely really closely and see if you notice anything wrong anything that looks out of place anything that looks burnt or maybe it has battery acid that leaked somewhere if everything looks normal, then look really close at the larger solder joints. If you see a uh, little hairline crack in it, then that's a definite clue that the solder joint uh, just came loose and, and you need to touch that up. So to touch it up, just heat up a soldering iron and then just tack each joint there. Did the uh, battery terminals and the capacitor terminals. And I'm going to do the LED terminals here. Even though I didn't see any crack anywhere, usually this is what will fix it. I'll pop in your batteries and you don't have to fully assemble the remote. You could just put the keypad right aligned up onto the uh, little button contacts. Turn off your light and point it at the camera again. Okay, push the button and nothing so not good enough okay usually capacitors this small don't go bad especially since they're low voltage and they're not next to anything really hot this is a 10 volt 220 microfarad I'm running a test here holding the contacts on and it's coming up as 216 microfarad so this is a good capacitor it's within range so there's nothing wrong with that So I'll solder that back in and I didn't uh, tack all the solder joints here, so I'm going to re-solder these three right here. Now, with those soldered, I'll try this little test again. And what do you know, it was a weak joint there. You can see the little blue, little purple flashing light. So snap it back together. It should clip right back in hopefully if it doesn't and it's loose you can just use a little super glue here and there and then try it one more time just to make it sure it didn't fool you hopefully this video has helped if it has please click like and always subscribe have an awesome day